Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. In this video, we're jumping back in with Spad.next and the real Simgear GNS530. We're gonna go ahead and get it added into Spad.next and download the default snippet for working with the 530. So let's go ahead and jump into it. But first thing, we need to find it in the device manager. So if you have multiple units, if you were to go to the device manager, you're gonna find when you come down to your COM port section that you may have multiple units plugged in or multiple COM ports. If that's the case, best that you unplug the other devices and only have the 530 in so that you can identify for sure which COM port it's on. In our case, we're on COM3. The other thing we wanna make sure is that we're not running any other software that is trying to talk to it i.e. the real sim gear plugin. Now it won't be hard to figure out because if we come over here to settings, we go to devices, we come down to serial devices. If we go to add this new device, by the way, make sure it's on. If you don't see it in the available list, that means it's not available to connect to. We see COM3 is available, so therefore SPAD can grab a hold of it and we need to pick the protocol. There is the SPAD serial protocol, there's the real SIM gear protocol, and there is the VR Insight protocols for the different devices. We're gonna highlight real SIM gear, and there are no extra options because these are standard. So we go ahead, we click OK, and it has been added. One thing to note, if we come over here to panels, it will not show up yet. We're gonna have to close it down and restart. So let's go ahead and do that now. And now that Spaddex is back up, we can come over to our panels section because this is where the RSG530 is going to show up. What you can do is click on a button, come over to your online snippets. It's gonna go ahead and bring everything in. You can uncheck only for current aircraft if you choose. Uh, just make sure that you've got the complete device selected. Inside of here, you're gonna find a bunch of devices that have been published. Uh, for using the real SIM gear 530. Uh, so as you can see, some people have mapped it to 430s, to a G1000. Uh, you're also seeing it mapped to the PFD of a G1000, and even somebody mapping it to the G3000. So we're gonna go ahead and use the one I made because I know that this one maps it one-to-one. -one. So we're gonna click on that, and when it asks us what we wanna do, well, if we say yes, it replaces everything. If we say no, it will merge everything. So keep the existing ones plus add these, or you can cancel. We're gonna go ahead and hit yes, and we're gonna let everything replace. Don't forget, you have your save key over here to save your profile. So on the first knob, we've now got the AS530 large knob, uh, right, left, and the push event. We've got the nav swap push button. We've got the comm swap. We have the CDI push. We've got the OBS, MSG, flight plan, VNAV, the procedures. You've got the right side knob. So right large, small knob and the push event. And then you have the enter the clear, which is great because you can also do a hold for long and get the clear long press. So just like the real unit has your menu, you got your direct to, and then you've got the ranges. So that's pretty much it. And all that you have to do to get this thing installed up and running and part of your profile. As always, if you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and come along on the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.